Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you my adventure at iFly. So we got to experience iFly for the first time. This location was near Concord Mills in North Carolina. That is the check-in kiosk. We also had some vouchers upon arrival. And this band here with those cute little stamps on it shows that you get to fly high. They have complimentary lockers for your things during your flight. They also have a gift shop if you want some cool merch to commemorate your flight. This is where you get your gear to suit up. They had a few cute photo ops inside the building for you to commemorate your flight. So my husband and my youngest daughter went with me on this trip. Here's me and my youngest daughter all suited up, ready for our flights. So this is a video that you can buy. They have all of that for you online. You can download these videos. I believe the videos were like $7.95 and each still shot photo I believe was $3.95. I will link all of the information that you need for iFly in the description box below. This was my husband on his very first flight. He was doing so well that multiple times the flight director, we'll call him, uh, let him go several times. Uh, my husband was kind of a natural, was a little jealous. He did really, really good. Was very proud of him. He was having a lot of fun. So this is like your basic first time in the air tube. Each time you will have your flight instructor with you at all times. My daughter did do the high fly and he grabs a hold of your suit from the side and flies you up to that white area you can see here in the video. She got to do it four times. Those flashing lights you see there are letting you know that your flight time is getting ready to come to an end and they have a waiting area. In the waiting area, you are not permitted to have any cell phones or anything. So this is an opportunity to see the pictures from inside the tube that you can buy. The first was my husband, this one's me. And this is what it looks like to take a shot from the outside of the tube. So clearly the shots are better inside. They also give you cute certificates to show that you completed your flight lesson. This was our flight instructor, Cam. He was awesome. And here's a close-up of the certificate. So what was it like to do iFly? What was it like to be inside the air tube? Well, as someone who is afraid of heights, it actually wasn't very scary. And that comes from me, my husband, and my daughter, who all have very different variations of fears of heights. And for all of us, we found it to be an enjoyable, fun experience that all of us would choose to do again if it came up. So it's, um, it's different. It's uh, not quite like anything I've ever done before knowing that you have that burst of air just kind of coming at you it and knowing that there's that soft net under you removes the fear of falling at least it did for us and you know if you've ever done any of those like trust falls where you do like this and you fall back and people catch you it's kind of like that but forward falling so they have you put in an A-frame position like this and you fall like a platform straight forward and he's there to guide your body into position over the main stream of air. And it's, it's different. Like it's really hard to describe into proper words 
what it fully feels like. Like, I guess the closest thing I could say that it is similar to that the average human being could feel at any given point in time is go 60 miles an hour down the highway, drop your windows, hang your arm out the window and feel that air hitting your hand and move your hand just like you were a kid and the way that it feels to move against that kind of force of air and the way that it feels against your hand is very similar how it feels against your whole body. So I guess that would be the most similar or most easiest thing that anybody could kind of be like, hmm, what does that feel like? Well, let me just pop my hand out the window the next time I'm going 60 miles an hour down the road and, you know, kind of play with it. And you know, when you, when you were, when I was a kid anyway, I used to hang my hand out the window and do the whole, and you could feel how it would, you know, plop, 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 move your hands around and stuff. So it's very, very similar to that, um, but it's your whole body experiencing that force of air. I didn't have any problems breathing, my husband did not, neither did my daughter. Now, the other group that was with us on our time slot, they had one young man uh, that did have some problems catching his breath and being able to breathe, but they were able to stop his flight right away, so you don't have to worry about that. The difference was, I think, for us versus them, they had us in those full face helmets where they had them in the half helmets with just the goggles and so their nose and their mouth was exposed. So if you're concerned about not being able to breathe, maybe just go ahead and ask straight up for the full face helmet because I had no problems at all with full face helmet. It's very similar to like being on a motorcycle with a full face helmet on and going. I would say that that would also be similar, like if you are familiar with riding a motorcycle and you are or in a, t a convertible car and you're cool going high speeds down the road and the wind not taking your breath away or on a boat ride not taking your breath away, then you should probably be fine. But if those things cause you to struggle to breathe, then I would just go ahead and ask for the full based helmet. So yeah, and they're very perceptive. Uh, Cam was our flight instructor. He was great. He helped all of us and we all had varying degrees of comfort and abilities and all of us on our time slot were all newbies. And he had a very wide range of comfort levels in all of us newbies and he handled it all just fine. So. I would highly recommend this if you're slightly curious, just go and do it. Like it was, it was fun. It was an experience. It's in a controlled environment. It's pretty safe. I'm, yeah, I say pretty safe. There's you know, risk to everything, but we all had a good time. I'd do it again. So food for thought. That's what it was like. So that was a full kind of view of our trip to iFly near Concord Mills in North Carolina. They have multiple locations spread out across the US. Again, you can find out all that fun detail stuff to see what's near you. I will put all that in the description box below. I will take a moment to say that if you are interested in flying again after your first flight, that is the best time to buy additional tickets. They give you a really nice discount on additional flights. And each time you go on flights, you get different experiences. So they start to teach you new techniques and new maneuvers for you to perform inside of the flight tube. So if you are into it and it's something you wanna do some more of, definitely take advantage of the savings there. They did also do some sales for Black Friday. So I know Black Friday just passed, but you know, if you're waiting until next year, you might get some sales then. If you have any questions about iFly, please drop me a comment below. I am here to answer whatever I can. And until the next time, guys, shake a tail feather and don't forget to like and subscribe.